if you're a follower of mine, you'll recognize that building. The schoolyard here it used to be a schoolyard. We hit this and hit this hard all last summer. Got a lot of coins out of here. And uh, I'm out here with the Xterra 705 with the big 15 inch 3 kilohertz coil. Trying to get stuff that I've missed. I've made one lane so far. I got a copper penny. Now I got a buffalo nickel. The targets are easy to find with the big coil. And I know I've hit this spot and, and hit it pretty good right here where I'm at. There's still coins in here. Uh, hopefully we're going to get a lot of good coins out of this site with the uh, Xterra 705 and the big coil. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a date off this one or not, but it's a buffalo nickel. I sure am liking the depth I'm getting. I'm talking nine inches. Spoon. Shape that that's in and the way it's black and it might be silver. There's half a chance. I'll clean her up at home and have a look. All right, we've got a lot of commotion going on, so I'm going to talk loud. We've got a lot of cleanup, spring cleaning going on across this road here. And about a couple inches here, we've got a cheap old ring, ring number three on the year. All right, we're still in our continuing back to school series. Been out here a couple hours, haven't come up with a whole lot. A little bit of clad. Until now, i got a nice little button here. I've gotten a few nice buttons out of this site. It's going to clean up nice. Uh, there's something on it, definitely. I can't tell if it's military or what, but it's going to be a good one, I can tell. Alright, we got the Xterra 705, 7.5 kilohertz, 10 inch coil. And we found something, and it's sexy, baby. Down, uh, it was down there pretty good, probably 5, 6 inches. Uh, not made of silver or anything. Looks like a, a button or a medallion of some type. Sexy baby. You know, I'm hot, hardcore. I'm still out here. It's after dark. I only got a few hours have to work some days. Finally, uh, something decent. Buffalo. What year? I got no idea. We'll clean her up. We'll have a look at the end. All right, we're back at it again this morning. Xterra 705 with a 15-inch coil tech coil. Dug a couple pennies so far. Been trash free. And uh, this is uh, well, you know what this is. You can see it. Uh, it was pretty deep, about five, six inches down or so. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna get something good today. We're gonna be out here a couple hours. Still. Okay, all I was getting was a faint signal. It's a little better now that I've dug the plug. Hoping for a silver quarter or something here. All right, right there, somewhere. Where did we go? Like a Jedi mind trick. I got a little plot of something right here. What do we got? Looks like uh, just a penny, maybe. That's a dime. 18. Uh, is that a silver? I swear that says 1959. Yeah, it's a silver dime this morning. All right. Silver dime at. Five inches. Xterra 705, 15 inch. Coil tech coil. All right, we got one here screaming, dig me, dig me. Looks like 44. All right, we'll try to dig our line. Hopefully it's silver quarter. Root there. Hopefully, it's above the roof. So, uh, looks like a quarter. Silver quarter. That's the question. Not looking very silver like right now. 
Hope it's not a silver quarter, because it looks like we nicked it. Hopefully, hopefully it ends up being a clad quarter. I won't feel so bad. It's a clad quarter. Clad All right, quarter got ourselves another. another stainless steel fork. Thing looks like it could almost still use it. Wash it, of course. Perfect condition. I must say, this has to be a first for me. I've gotten a women's bowling trophy before. Oh well, something new. All right, we got another good one. Hanging right around 40, 42, six inches down. Do it live. All right, we're in the flood. Looking for silver. All right, uh, what do we got? Oh, I'm looking at something green. Right there. Memorial Penny. Oh well. All this right, is the coin, here. I guess. 42, 46. This be a good depth test. I've already dug the plug. Whatever it is, it's still in the hole, and that's at least six inches, and we haven't gotten to it yet. So let's see how much deeper we got to go. Okay, that's probably at least seven inches now. Hopefully this is a coin. This would be a good test for this Xterra 705 with the 15 inch coil. Still in the hole. Okay, it's right there. Whatever it is, it's right there. Okay, so it's not a coin. So much for the depth test. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. I'll clean her up and have a look. this old sidewalk here. The Xterra 705 with a big coil. Something uh, silver here. Down about five inches. I believe it's Canadian. I believe it's like a half dime or something. This is 1888 or 89 back it's silver it's awesome all right we got one like what we like to hear 44 About four inches down or so give her a live dig see what we get Got a piece of pipe. Oh well. Yeah. That's what okay. That is. We're back at it detecting again. It's the first day I've actually felt like detecting this week. I've had a couple days off and didn't feel like doing much. And uh, so I just got out of work and I got about an hour or so. We're at the schoolyard. And uh, I hope to leave here with at least one good find. I have maybe an hour. We'll see what we can come up with. Trying to get the Xterra 705 ready. Find a place to do a ground balance. And it found it. Sensitivity all the way up. Ready to roll. Wife calls this my Atari detector. She thinks it sounds like an Atari.
All right, we're going to go find the heavy nails and we're going to paw through it with our six inch uh, digger coil. I want one good find. That's all I want tonight. Okay, I got a first decent signal. That's how that locks right in at 18, 20. It's usually not a good number. About oh, four inches right there. Usually not a good uh, diggable number, but whatever it is, it's ringing solid. We'll dig her up, see what we got. All right, what well, we got is uh, a solid looking pull tab. It's what it was ringing in the pull tab range, but you never know when they're going to turn out to be gold rings. So that was a solid signal, so I had okay, to dig it. Okay, here's the wrap up. In case you were curious, I did not get my one good find on that last hunt. Okay, here we go. Starting with the silverware. Mm. Plastic and metal charm. Marble, we find those once in a while. Old key. This is a uh, junk ring. Uh, ring number three on the ear. Nice little uh, horseshoe button. It's a little sexy thing. Little shell casings. I don't know, something to do with makeup, I guess. Bowling trophy thing. These two things here they must go together somehow. And uh, that, of course, you know what that is, don't you? Of course you do. If you don't know what that is, leave a comment. Over to our clat. Oh, where did we total up to? $3.79. That's all I want to talk about, clat. Is that wheat? The oldest one being the 1920. Various conditions. I got a Canadian in the wheat era, 47. I always keep those out too. Buffalo nickel, one of them is a 36D. The other one uh, has no date, as a lot of them don't. I, I just barely make out where the date is so that, I don't know, I just can't make it out. It's a beautiful button. Wonderful condition. I haven't ID'd this, so if anybody has a button book and can ID that, that would be nice. And to our silver, we have two of them. Or one rosy. I can't read it without my glasses, I'm sorry. You can read the date yourself. And our uh, 1880 Canadian five cents. They don't call them half dimes, they call them five cents. Should we get this the right way? But I call it Canadian half dime. You can see on the sides where it used to be part of a bracelet. Let's see where the little bit of rust on the, like at nine and three o'clock on there. So it was made into a bracelet and lost along that sidewalk. And that silver's. Number 9 and 10, so we're up to double digits in silver. And uh, that's the accumulation of uh, several hunts, the hunted out sites.